has that spot right here on my eye that eyeshadow always has problems with. Always. Hello everybody. So today we are going to be testing more makeup and I'm just in the mood to play and have some fun with color. I'm going to be reusing the serum foundation here from The Ordinary and I kind of want to play with like greens or blues, like teal eyeshadow. Hmm. The choices, the choices. Let's see. I guess we'll go ahead and get started on our face. Today I'm going to start with some of this uh, Babe Skin Pore Eraser. that on then I'm going to take some of this hard candy uh, excuse me a shine free primer and we'll just take a little bit of this and kind of okay now that we have primed our face um, I think I think I want to do a little bit of contouring today so we're gonna use some of this cream contour this is from LA girl uh, this is the pro conceal high definition I don't know what color it is or anything I did purchase this off of wish so there is that, and then I think I'm going to use this little brush here and see what happens. So, just get some product and draw some lines. We'll start with that. And we'll see how this works too, we'll find it out.
Mm, I feel like it looks very patchy. I also don't feel like it looks that bad. But this side, I don't know, maybe there's just more product over there. I don't know. But there is that. Cute. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Matte and Poreless. I have 115 Ivory, and I'm going to mix in some of the Ordinary uh, Serum Foundation in 1.1N. Like this. And then I'm just going to use my Real Technique sponge to blend it out. Ooh. how uh, splattery it is and it's all over my table. So we'll just kind of mix those two and this is the concoction we have so we'll just kind of put that all over the face. That's actually a really good match for my skin today. I'm just going to go in with a little bit of Dermacol 207 under my eyes. Now we'll go ahead and powder. Take the Cody Airspun. A lot of powder. I'm really going to make sure we get under those eyes since I used the Dermacol. Blend out those creases yet again.
Okay, so now I am going to take this little brush here. And the butter bronzer. I'm just going to lightly tap and then just right back here. Then I'm going to take the mosaic bronzer here with this angled brush. And just kind of go over the whole area, make sure everything's really blended. I'm just going to take this just a little bit on the jawline. I'm just going to go over everything with the Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder and Translucent with this giant face brush from uh, the BH set. I'm gonna make sure everything is cohesive. And it'll all blend together. I'm happy with that. 
I actually really liked the combination of the Ordinary and the Fit Me. I think the color was like perfect for my skin right now. So that's really cool. Made a mess, but we did that. No. Mm. I really want to use this uh, Liquid Linen BH Cosmetics in Evelyn. Really want to use this. So I think I'm just gonna kind of go in with it and see. I think I'm just gonna start out with this. You do fluffy brush here, and I'm going to start with the butter bronzer. I'm just going to take that and put it all over my crease. Okay, so that is just the butter bronzer and bronzer. There. Then I think I don't know which one. I want to use because I've got a couple different options here. I've got, do I want to go more grainy or more blue or try and do both? Do some swatches here. So this is Hazel from the Sylvia Ganni palette. That's really dark actually. <laughs> if we go back over that. And then the blue is Revel. Let's see. I also, there, those are from the Sylvia Ganni palette. And this is the uh, Midnight City palette here. I really kind of like this dark color here. What does that look like? Uh, it's a nice teal color. Uh, got these two sparkle ones in the top here. Let's see what those do. Okay, so you can see those down here. Hmm. I also have, this is a 12 piece eyeshadow palette that's from Hot Topic. I also have like these ones here. 
Then I might use, let's see, we've got, that's a nice teal one as well. That one's a lot lighter than the one in the Midnight City palette. Let's see, we've got the blue. Lighter. Let's see. Well, I think I want to start out. I'm going to take the Midnight City palette and I'm just going to take this uh, dark color here. And we're just going to put that in the outer half up to the crease. And then we'll blend what's left on the brush in the crease. Okay, then I'm just going to take this here and kind of go over that bottom line. I have that spot right here on my eye that eyeshadow always has problems with. Always. But there is that. Then I'm going to take this brush here with this like white shade. It almost blends into nothing. Ooh. Ooh. And I'm going to put that right under my eyebrow. The color here with the same brush. Oh, my nose is just. Brush. These very soft shadows, and this is a rough brush, so we just have a little bit there. And I'm just going to start that on the outer portion. Not quite all the way to the end, but close. And I'm just going to put that in the center. I know. I'm trying to blend in a little bit.
So there is that so far. This is a very pigmented shadow. Just the teeniest, tiniest bit here. And I don't have any fallout, so that's good. Okay, so there is that face. Then I am just going to take a little bit of this number 10 here with my finger and pack that in the center. Ah. Oh no. And then I'm going to wipe off my brush here and I'm going to go back into the shade here and just run it through my crease and to blend that shade out. I have, I don't really have fallen on my face. But then I'm just going to take the blue and put that on. Oh, my foot fell asleep. take the darker one next to it and I don't 
don't know what's going on. I just keep putting eyeshadow on. I don't know if it's me or these eyeshadows. Okay, I'm going to carefully run some of that on the lower lash. Just took Wolf from the Sylvia Ganni palette and just kind of went over under my brows. And I'm going to take this right here just with my finger and put that on the inner portion. Okay, I'm just gonna take this brush here and a little bit of opal and Libra. And highlight. Okay, so now I think we're looking decent again. It was getting a little bit, oh, blowing my hair out. Getting a little bit questionable there for a minute, but here is the look. I think I'm going to just put a little bit of shadow in my brows. things happened. <laughs> I went to put on some eyeliner and it was really short and ended up getting all over my lower lash because I was too lazy to shorten it or sharpen it. And so I just kind of smudged that out and took this brush here with some of Hazel here and just kind of patted that on and blended out that uh, lower lash. So that's that. And then to, to make it look a little less accident, I added a little wing and I put on some mascara. 
Now what I did for that is I used the L'Oreal Paris uh, Unlimited Mascara. However, I used the wand from the Colossal Volume from Maybelline because this one is empty and I just kind of shoved the wand in here and used that and I really like the effect that gave me because I really like the uh, fat wands like this I mean they work really well for my eyelashes and I just got a little bit on the lower lash and I got some on my nose and then I also added a little bit of the oval highlighter in the Sylvia Ganni to my inner corners to kind of brighten that up a little bit more. So, yeah, and I smudged something right here. I don't know quite what or when that happened, but that happened. So, um, I think the final product looks good. I really do. So, um, is what it is. We'll kind of go back. I used so many shadows. I mean, we used a little bit of this, a little bit of this, a little bit of this, a uh, little bit of that. I used uh, hazel on the bottom. And then this is the 12 piece eyeshadow from Hot Topic that I have. I use the shade 10 here. And I used this shade right here in my eyebrows just a little bit just to give them some dimension there. And so. That is about that. I really need to go wipe my hand off. Hopefully this doesn't stain. So yeah, I'm kind of a hot mess. I don't know if that spot's gonna come off. Probably not. Great. I mean, you'll have to let me know in the comments what you think. I really like the way this turned out, and my eyeliner looks pretty good. I don't know if they're quite even, but I don't think it's possible. But the eyelashes look good. The face looks good. I didn't actually put any setting powder on, or I'm sorry, uh, setting spray on. So there is that and trying this for the second time since I didn't have chapstick on this time it did dry down and I mean I think it looks pretty good actually. It does kind of darken up after it dries compared to when you first put it on I am noticing and my dog thinks it's time to eat right now so I will give you guys a close-up Okay, that is about it. I want to thank everybody for watching. If there is anything else that you would like to see me do, any specific looks or techniques or uh, anything at all really that you would like to see me do or any colors, 
I think I'm just repeating myself. But I had a lot of fun creating this look today. I think overall it looks really good. We had some questionable moments there in the, in the middle. We did. And... Yeah. I think it looks good. I've got obviously some some spots and I got mascara everywhere somehow but I think it does look good and I really liked the way that these two foundations uh, mesh together and it was like a perfect in-between color for me so I will definitely be trying this again so I think that's everything for today. I will see you in my next one.